why do you think a, a professional orchestra like the BBC Concert Orchestra should be looking to work with diverse community groups in this kind of way? Well, we live in a, a, a world where people are mixing up more and more, which is how it should be. Um, so, uh, and music is uh, um, an art form that connects all cultures. Uh, so if you want to have a mission of bringing people more together and create a um, compassionate and love environment between the population of a community, then music has a great power. So if uh, the BBC Orchestra, Concert Orchestra wants to do this, then I think it is a great path to go because you can actually gather people that have different opinions and have different points of views in the same place, enjoying and living each other in uh, in a harmony that otherwise they wouldn't have, you know, even if politically they, they think differently. And I think those kinds of opportunities give also the chance to people to meet, the chance to people to talk with each other, the chance to people to see other cultures or see uh, the British culture. They, they can do a concert of, of the music that they want and gives that opportunity for people to see and live because it's not just the knowledge of what we read in social media. No, they are living an experience. And that is a, it's a great opportunity to, to, to get that experience in people and get them more curious of live events and getting more curious on meeting other people from different cultures and getting more curious to, to see what's out there in different places or locations where the orchestra is going. So it is very rich. Yes. It is very rich. Yes, and I think um, we received some some feedback on the first event. We received some feedback from the, the orchestral musicians themselves. Um, and it was such a positive experience for them. We could we could see that, which leads me to my my next question, which is what do you think um, the orchestra and the orchestral musicians can learn from this kind of project? I work with orchestras in other events also. And one thing I see that is quite similar is that it opens them up to do different things. So orchestras are used to go to their uh, room or their stage, they practice, they don't move, um, they do their repertoire and that's it. The difference here is that they have, they are not obliged, but automatically comes uh, an engagement that they need to have with the people that surrounds them because they are out of their stage and they are out of their um, place that they know. So they directly, they engage with people and they talk with people that have different cultures to, to them and they have different uh, ways to behave in that environment, okay? So they are used to a place where people come and sit down and listen to you. This doesn't happen when you come close to these kind of communities, which they want to dance. They will talk to you. They will touch you. They will ask you questions about what you're doing. They will say, like I heard the, the other night, oh, uh, my my mother-in-law said, oh, that lady seemed, seemed, she didn't look like a musician, but she played really well. So this guy, <laughs> and she went and said, oh, you really played really well. Because in her mind, it was like, oh, it was somehow it surprised them for some reason. And she goes and tells that to people. So um, which makes the orchestra having to live and reply with this kind of behavior, which I think is very rich for them because they will see what people think out there. <laughs> you know, people that don't normally go to see an orchestra, what they think and what the, uh, and what they see when they see them play, um, which I think is very rich for them as performers to know that. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it was. Um, I didn't want to say much because I I wanted to to hear your thoughts about this. But it was one of the points mentioned in the the orchestra players' uh, feedback we received was the, right. that close close connection with um, the community um, that they found really positive and that mm -hmm. probably they can't experience as much when they do they do the standard events where people, as you say, sit and are quiet and just watch. So, yeah. 
exactly. Well, this was all I had to ask you, really. So thank you so much. <laughs> no <laughs> worries. No Muito worries. Obrigada. Okay. De nada, querida. De nada. Até para as ordens. <laughs>